What is good, YouTube? This is Vortex. I'm back with more Hunter x Hunter discussion video here, guys. As always, these videos will be random uh, per uh, random topics, per, you know, random stuff to talk about per each of the, the past talks that I've watched up to this point, um, as we are 120 plus episodes in to the show as we're actually getting close to the end of the show um, but there's so much more to talk about as far as uh hunter x hunter is concerned um but as but as always guys these videos will also be pushed out during the weekends either friday saturday or, or sunday more so trying to push them out friday or saturday or both days um probably one or two uh depending um but but yeah, guys, just trying to stick with this schedule for now, and it may change in the future, but who knows. But anyway, guys, uh, enough rambling, jumping right into it. Per the title, The Auction, just specifically The Auction, this specific thing. Because, um, you know, during this episode, you know, right after uh, what happens here at The Auction, we're jumping in, we're, we're preparing ourselves for um, the classic fight between uh, Kurapika and uvo aka uvogan um but anyway guys just wanted to talk about this real briefly um as briefly as possible just to just to say guys that the auction when you know when you normally think about an auction i've never been to one if you have you know i know that you you know you you know you have that experience and you know what actually goes on there um but you know it's it's crazy when i sat here and watched this episode and um i mean you know key things that were talked about that i'm, I'm gonna jump into in another video um something specific but when it's basically centered around merchandise you know corruption definitely politics um and and you know with with the spider trope group added into the mix of this um you know, all this stuff culminates and begins here. It literally starts here. When, when, um, when the spider trope decides to begin, you know, their, their, uh, illustrious attack on the auction and, and on the tendons, um, and you know, sitting back, like I said, for those of you who have who have had experiences at the at auctions, because again, I've never been to one. These people, these folks, these you know, these millionaires, you know, these auctioneers, you know, they they've been doing this for years, you know, decades, roughly, probably, you know, probably had had this stuff, you know, this this type of like business you know, type of thing passed down from generation to generation leading up to this point. And I'm sitting back and I'm watching episode 43 guys. And I'm just like, like the spotter trope, you know, when they decided to murder, kill all of these people, I'm sitting back like, yo, like, cause, cause I mean, even in real life, I mean, even in anime, you know, you can kind of equate real life to anime just basically by saying, you know, even in the anime, people wake up in the anime and they're not, you know, they're not expecting to die. You know, somebody dies in real life every single day. Even in the anime, somebody's dying in the anime. And these people, these millionaires, these auctioneers, they woke up expecting to go through their normal, usual auction spill. They were looking forward to purchasing some items. And, you know, of course, one of the main ones or, you know, one of the main merchandises is the, the you know, the Scarlet Eyes um, from Karapraka's, um, um his village, his family, you know, his people. Uh, and, you know, there were people who were looking to purchase those scarlet eyes and, and a, you know, all the other merchandise, they woke up expecting to do that, but then they didn't, you know, expect to lose their lives. And I'm sitting back, like watching this, like, man, like, can you imagine being an auctioneer yearly doing this every single year and 
you know, I don't, you know, I don't even want to imagine this if I was an auctioneer, just going to this being your last auction that you ever go to because this group of, you know, powerful, um, crazy and hardly any cares in the world group of 10 or more people making the decision to come through these doors and kill you because they want the same merchandise as you and they do it. It's just, it's just insane guys. Like this auction again was, was one probably more so probably, probably I'm just, you know, thinking out loud, but probably was one of the biggest auctions, probably because of the, you know, me thinking probably because of those scarlet eyes, but more, you know, but, but of course other things, um, you know, but, you know, again, you know, the main reason too is, is, you know, the spotter trope, you know, getting to that guy's daughter. Um, but they, you know, they want it, they want it, the merchandise too. Cause you know, tech, they basically, they, you know, they got to get paid too. It sucks, but they, you know, they, they got to get paid too. Um, but, uh, but yeah, guys, it's just, you know, I sit back and I watch episode 43 over again. You know, prior to um, Kropika and his crew getting ready to see how the spider truck really operates, see how Evo, you know, Uvo uh, uh, gets ready to um, do his thing miles away from, from, you know, the side of the auction. So that's what I'm saying, guys. It's so crazy. Like people were expecting to do, you know, the usual spill, come to the auction purchase and buy get you know pay somebody and you know all these other things and probably take these items and and sell them you know on the black market type of thing under the table get extra money more money than what you know than what they paid for type of thing um the usual merry-go-round of of dealings you know of shady dealings in in you know when it comes to this specific you know auction it's just it's just insane but like i said guys these people woke up expecting to do the normal spill and they're you know they they die within you know within probably roughly 60 seconds or less i would give it roughly 60 seconds maybe a little bit more but more so i'm thinking 60 seconds or less within you know within a minute they're gone and their bodies are you know sucked up in a vacuum that has a mouth on it <laughs> It's just crazy, guys. It's just so crazy. So, um, yeah, just, man, just like I said, guys, even in the anime, you know, anime characters wake up not, you know, not expecting to die that day. And in this specific day, during the auction, this is what happens. Wow. Just wow. So that's, you know, that's pretty much my thoughts, guys. I, you know. Man, that's that's what I got out of this auction is these people didn't expect to die. But it happened. And everything else happened after that in a spiral. Whirlwind of of craziness. More death, more, you know, more battles, big time battles that were to come. So with that, guys, I'm about to be out. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What did you all think of this video? What are your thoughts on the auction? What was your response? How did you all, you know, respond to it? Let's have a chat in the comment section, guys. And as always, next weekend, I'll chat with you all with another, or maybe more so, maybe two episodes, again, of, Hunter, of another Hunter x Hunter discussion video. I'll let y'all later, guys. Peace.